Hello friends, I'm Ed Sanders, and joining me today in my wood shop is my good friend, Mr. Johnny Littlefield. Hey gang. How are you doing, bruv? You good? Good, man. How are you doing? I'm very well, man. All right. Two lovely people obviously recognise our beautiful faces from the hit ABC show, Extreme Makeover Home Edition, where me and Johnny and a great crew of people travel around America, helping as many families as possible by building a house. In a week? In a week. Now, what brings us here today to my shop is uh, some new technology being offered up by the men and women at Jet uh, in Shop Dust Collection Systems. Mm -hmm. But before we go over that, the big man here is going to break down the history and background of the classic Shop Dust Vacuum System. Johnny, yes, if you would. I am. Now, it wasn't too many years ago that in order to clean up your shop, you grabbed a broom and a dustpan. <laughs> oh, I remember those days, bruv. Sweeping up all the sawdust, the backbreaking work, you couldn't be productive with your you own You remember room. those days. When was the last time you took a broom to your shop? Look what at this place. About? It's clean, what are you talking about? Yeah. Well, rather than dealing with the nuisance of cleaning up your shop, voila, in rests the age of the dust collection system. Ah, uh, glorious day, bruv. I remember it all too well. It's just amazing. You remember that? Yeah, I was obviously yeah. a lot younger than you. You're older than me, probably a bit yeah, of memory. Easy, easy, easy. Well, it was a very simple process. You just plugged the machine into the machine that you were using, and it evacuated all the wood chips into a convenient container. Now, a great example of that, guys, is the machine you see standing before us, the cloth vacuum system. Now, what this basic machine done, what, it's like you said, the chips get vacuumed up by the help of the impeller, and right. then they get dumped into the lower container. However, Johnny, and it's a big however for me, the top bag did a lousy job of filtering the exiting air. Right. Now, the woodworkers at the time, they were very content with it collecting the wood chips, but like you said, mediocre at best in filtering the air, especially if you hooked it up to a sander. Sand is the biggest criminal, mate, because that fine dust gets absolutely everywhere. Obviously. What? Yeah. So anyway, our more health-conscious woodworkers, they were losing their hair over this. As a matter of fact, you could elaborate on that, Ed. Um, do you want to talk about that hair? Well, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Uh, well, I wasn't planning on talking about that, but if you want me to, okay. Um, <clears throat> um, I was 25 when I first started losing my hair, and to say it was a stressful time in my life Ed, is... Elaborate on the dust collection system, man. Oh! Yeah. You see what... Uh, sorry, no, basically, yeah, I was yeah. spoiled by not having to sweep the floor anymore. Exactly. However, I wanted more from this bloody machine. He wanted performance and better filtration. But I wasn't the only one, bruv. Woodworkers across the country, we were screaming out for a better machine. And then all of a sudden, bang, our collective voices were heard by the introduction of the canister filter. Now, not only did this bad boy offer great performance, but it offered way better filtration. Well, if you notice, Ed, the bottom bag is plastic. All the exiting air goes through the filtration canister. So we go th from 30 microns <coughs> to 2 microns. That's a big leap, mate, I tell you. Well, it's huge if you know what a micron is. Do you want me to explain? Absolutely. To all of you wonderful techno nerds out there, like my good friend Johnny, a micron is basically one millionth of a meter. Now, anything below five microns is what's deemed harmful for you and I to breathe. Correct. Now, if you want to scare the living daylights out of yourselves, the next time you're in your woodshop after a tough woodworking session, turn out all the shop lights, then get a flashlight, turn it on, and I mm. swear you will think you're in the deep abyss by the amount of particles rushing through your flashlight beam. Well, especially if you've cut MDF or sanded it, MDF it. MDF is terrible. It's going to make you want to hold your breath until you can turn the shop lights back on, at which point all the dust disappears, and then you can breathe more healthily. What? Ed, do you, do you honestly believe by turning on the lights all the dust disappears? Absolutely not. Okay, well, I think Ed has officially flipped his wig right No, now. no, 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 I don't wear a wig. I've never worn a wig in my life, America, never. So, Johnny, tell us where are we at the moment with technology. Okay, this machine. <clears throat> yeah. We collect wood chips. Check. We filter the air. Check. Job done. Let's go. No, no, no. See, there's something really annoying about this. Well, what? Well, I, I just have to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. Okay. Okay, so lose this machine. All right. And grab that one right there, Ed. Okay, bro. Bring in okay. the new machine. Perfect. <coughs> okay, grab one new machine. Okay, turn it on. Okay. Okay. And I think you can illustrate what's going on in the bag there, Ed. Illustrate? Yeah. What? what like a drawing? I haven't done a drawing. Oh, no, 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 no. Demonstrate what's going on. Oh, oh, right. Okay, okay so the chips are turning around like a tornado. Exactly. Right? In the bottom bag. However, that's not the problem. The problem is they get sucked up. Right. Built a canister above. Okay, so let's let this machine run for 20 minutes and we'll check the filter. Right, okay, so what's that machine for? Same machine, right? Exactly. All right, so it collects wood chips. Yeah. 
filters the air. Shake. But the major difference is the vortex cone. The vortex cone? Just like something out of a movie. What? Stay away from the vortex cone. No, 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 no. Because it, it collects wood chips. It filters the air. It still does the tornado thing. But what the vortex cone does, it eliminates 98% of the wood chips going into the canister. Thus, no. not clogging the filter. Love it, bro. Okay, so I need to see both of these filters. This is going to run for 20 minutes. This is going to run for 20 minutes, and we'll check filters. Beautiful. Dust All right. off with you, bro. You got it. Okay, Johnny. Johnny, wake up, bro. 20 minutes is up. What do we do? Okay, turn off your machine and unscrew your canister. Okay, right. these machines have been running for 20 minutes. Yep. Right? Lift your canister. <sighs> you see, Bob, I know what I'm going to expect. I just know it. You see, this is just peachy, Bob. It's exactly what I'm talking about. You spend all that time separating the wood chips and filtering the air, only to have to breathe it all when you've got to de-clog the filter. It just winds me up. Well, check this out. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I mean, look at it. It's like night and day. They're the same machine. Same machines with the introduction of the Vortex Cone. I love the Vortex Cone. Even more so for the fact, do you know how much time and money the average woodworker is going to save because they don't have to stop down building to go across to their dust collector to declog the filter? Those woodworkers, they don't have to breathe that stuff. I'll tell you what, mate. This is absolutely fascinating. Now, let me ask you this. Do you think this is going to become a watershed issue on dust collectors in the future? Well, I don't see how it won't because what we saw with the advent of the dust collector, yep. the fine filter, now this. Now with the introduction of the Vortex Cone, it's going to make this machine act like a two-stage machine. Loving the vortex cone, just totally. saying it is beautiful. So let me ask you this, do you want to go make some uh, chips? Chips, french fries. No, no, not food, wood chips. Oh yeah, sure. Your shop or mine? Mine, mine's cleaner. Yeah, but we're gonna clean my shop first, yeah? Cause you know, it's just rude. 